Well, hello there, and welcome back to Talk Shit Tuesdays with Tracy Lifestyle, and that's me. <laughs> Or sorry for the delay, but those of you that have been keeping up, you know who's coming up today. Capricorn. Mm-hmm. Let's get right into it. For another drag your zodiac sign. Uh, disclaimer, of course, we all know all the Capricorns out there. There's probably about three Capricorns that I love. They're all girls, so. Mm. You know, but I mean, maybe one, one guy Capricorn. But like, you know, my Mercury is in Capricorn, so you know, I definitely think like a Capricorn, you know, I'm a late Sag, December 17th, but I am totally a Sag because in Vedic Sidero, I am totally a Mercury in Sagittarius as well. So, beats me. Okay, so let's get started with the goat fish. Goat fish. <laughs> They're weirdos. Capricorns are definitely weirdos. They're earth signs, and I must say all earth signs are very weird, but they just act like they're not weird because they try to be grounded and try to understand, but they don't understand. I'd say that Capricorns are similar to Virgos, which we'll get to next, right? And I mean, I don't like Virgos, but there are a good amount of Virgos that I do love. But other than that, I mean, mm. uh, Capricorn is... <laughs> Well, what are they known for, right? Out of all 12 zodiac signs, each zodiac sign is mainly known for something, right? And Capricorns, well, they're boring. They are known to be boring. They like to plan ahead and do everything on schedule. They need to feel like secure. So they need to do everything in a certain order for them to feel right. Otherwise, they're they're probably gonna get a little mad or frustrated because they do have anger issues, but they don't know how to handle themselves at all. So it kind of just blows out of proportion regardless. You know, they talk a lot of shit and um, they're too in their heads. They're always in their heads and they're selfish. They're selfish people. <laughs> they think about all themselves, you know? And ultimately, like a Virgo, it comes down to just money. They want to think about their well-being, their health, their you know best interests, their benefits. Not necessarily a horrible thing, but it's just that's their thing, like all the time. Money, themselves, and sex. They like sex. Other than that, you know, they, I mean, they try to be traditional people for the most part, but they're not. I mean, they're the types that being family oriented and all, but they'll, they'll get into it with the family and like, be like, oh, why not? You yeah, like Gemini's or whatever. Users, they definitely will use you for whatever you got, whatever you are, whoever you are, because if it benefits them, they will do it. And then they'll probably just leave you in the dust. Being your friend or being your girlfriend, boyfriend, or whatever it is, you know, that's it's gonna get them some type of substantial things or whatever, you know, money, status quo, whatever, you know, they'll do it and they know how to, you know, they are very smart and manipulative people, possessive by far, and they. You know, they're kind of fake because of that. You know, they'll get personable with you. They'll be all like all up in your business. They seem like they really care because they're earth signs. They know, you know, to be grounded and to feel like, you know, motherly or whatever it is. But ultimately, they don't care about anything but themselves. Like once it's done, that's done. Okay, like move on to the next, whatever is gonna benefit them, right? And they're always um, kind of like a tourist, like, you know, materialistic, but it's really, it's more so that they like to brag. They like to brag about what they've accomplished, what they've done, you know, like they're hard workers, but it's more so because they want the recognition. They want people to see how well they've been doing, how much work they put in put, and why they got all these things because of how much work they've put. They can be very quiet and like non-social sometimes because of them being too into their heads, you know, and then like thinking they pick up vibes or whatever it is, you know. Um, like in tarot, you know, they're evil, not evil, but you know, they're associated with the devil. Just saying, okay? And I mean, they're feminine earth signs. They're overall feminine energies, you know? They're earth signs, uh, but they're feminine, uh, like Virgos. Um, so they're very sensitive. They, you know, they maybe not seem sensitive, but they're very sensitive, you know, which makes them very petty. So if you ever get into an argument with a Capricorn, it's kind of like a century. It's, it's probably gonna keep on going until they get their point across to be right because they're always right you know they think they're always right and they always have to have the first and last thing because they're just they're just petty like they're overly righteous sometimes because it's they say it's a capricorn's world right <laughs> why because they're 
overly controlling, possessive, and evilly crazy. Nah, but they're only crazy for a certain extent, like what they feel like is right, what it deserves, you know? And they're stingy. Stingy, cheap, greedy haters? How about all the same thing when it comes to a Capricorn? Because they're very fucking cheap. They calculate a lot. Like, if you if you bought them a whole bunch of things, great. Almost they feel like they're entitled to it. You know, but if it's their turn up on the list, you know, like if they think about it enough, like you give them enough stuff, then maybe, okay, sure. But other than that, don't expect them to like be generous with you. They're, I mean, they know how to socialize or whatnot, but they, they're not generous by any means. They're not gonna be the type to like, oh yeah, we could just split the bill. I'll, I'll get the bill. Like, no, because they're not saints. Nah. But they'll try to act like it for the most part. And whatever, da 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 da. But, and then their little anger issues, that's just about it. They'll explode on their own little circumstances. But they are definitely crazy. Gotta give them that. When they are to their little meter, oh, they just blow up. But, I mean, this is only about your sun signs, by the way, you guys. So, whatever your moon sign, that's very important. And your Mercury sign, that's how you are overall as a person so much more. And then, of course, your rising sign. So, your sun sign is just basically how you carry out things. So, on that note, you guys, I'm just talking shit. So, don't cry. Not just yet, because we still got to go through a whole bunch of more signs. And I will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, okay? Hit the bell button so that way you see my next video and I can share this video so you can piss off a couple Capricorns. Unless you're a Capricorn yourself, leave me in the comments what you think about this video, okay? And I'll see you guys next time.